The last use case category here is product recommendations and Lego is the best possible example of this. During the holiday season, they ran a campaign where they would suggest personalized gift ideas to people they were targeting. For example, somebody would see an ad in their Facebook newsfeed telling them, hey, click this ad and engage with us on Messenger for a personalized gift idea for a loved one. Once they would click on that ad, it would redirect them to Messenger where the bot would ask a series of questions such as how old is the person you're shopping for, what are their interests, what's your price range, etc. Based on the responses to each of these questions, Lego would use an algorithm to provide that product idea at the end of the quiz essentially. Unlike a website, of course, this experience was quick, fun, engaging. It used cool things like gifts and even a Lego persona, a character named Ralph to guide the experience. But it wasn't just fun and enriching. Most importantly, it also helped them achieve meaningful business results. They were able to drive a 6x return on ad spend. So for every dollar they put down, they made $6 in return. If you could do that all day long, who wouldn't want that deal? They were also able to achieve a 30% reduction in their cost per acquisition, so they're spending less money to make more money at the end of the day. Let's dive into Chatfuel though and see exactly how LEGO executed this strategy.